Good morning, Kettle Kids, and welcome to your Wednesday, October 18th. And today is National Hagfish Day. No, it's National Hagfish Day. I'm serious. Uh, and you might be wondering, well, Mr. King, what is a hagfish? Well, is this thing. It's pretty kind of hideous, to be really honest with you. And if you thought it couldn't get a little bit grosser looking than what you're looking at right now, well, guess what? It's got teeth. Uh, yeah, hagfish, real kind of nasty sucker. Uh, and, you know, I would also refer to them by the nickname uh, maybe like Nightmare Worm because they they live in the deep sea and they just are really kind of gross looking. But they're actually extremely nice. They're, they're not mean. If you went swimming with one of these guys, he's not going to be after you. He only cares about dead fish and dead stuff because the hagfish itself is actually, uh, this is funny, it kind of breaks the rules on a lot of uh, marine life. It is not neither, it's neither an eel or a worm or a fish necessarily it is technically classified as an eel-shaped slime producing marine fish so it is i guess a fish if you get down to it um but what he really is or the hagfish in general uh is much more of the underwater custodian they're there to eat all the nasty dead stuff uh so it's kind of like a janitor if a janitor were to like you know eat the things they cleaned up which would be pretty gross if you think about it but you know i know what you're all asking kids you're saying mr king that's great that's fine i'm really glad to learn about hagfish but can i eat it of course you can <laughs> because when we find gross things underwater we obviously are going to grill them up and eat them it's a delicacy in many south asian countries uh and honestly it might very well taste delicious you just don't know until you try it right but the cool thing about hagfish is is actually we might end up seeing parts of the hagfish uh, you know, be part of our daily life. And I'm not joking about this. Apparently, uh, the slime that hagfish produce is really, really unique. It's, it's extra gooey, and it's really, really absorbent to impact, and it never dries up. It stays viscous and, you know, kind of gooey all the time uh, because it actually is much closer to a spider silk. It's stronger than nylon and therefore is really, really ideal for things like airbags, they're talking about putting it into ballistic vests or even protective headgear, whether it be bike helmets or hard hats at work sites. There's tons and tons of uses that we could have for this. So either we're potentially going to be looking at hagfish slime farms or uh, potentially ha uh, man or like uh, synthetically producing hagfish slime. So, yeah, hagfish. Whoa. <laughs> so let's find the flag in the room, Ed. Please rise for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. All right, you crazy Kendo kids, let's uh, do a little bit of that food for the day. We have a ham sandwich or chicken patty with bun, along with corn, apple, and milk. I know you're all crying we don't have hagfish today. Uh, let's talk about that weather outside. It's going to be cloudy and kind of cold today. A uh, little sun peeking through here and there is the hope, but we don't know for sure. At least it will be dry. We've been dealing with that wet, cold weather for quite a while. Tomorrow, the big warm-up, up to 66 on the high. It's going to be the warmest. It's going to be for quite a while. And then guess what? For the weekend, we got rain. Uh, it's been a really wet October. Hopefully we get a little bit more sunshine here and there, but it looks like the cloud cover and the rain is going to be around for a little bit. I would do Kendall canines, but we don't have a canine to report to you. So if you happen to have one uh, or even just any pet that you want to get on the announcements, uh, email to me, show me the picture, either which way I will get it on the announcements and talk about it. If you don't remember though, to put your name on it or the name of your pet, I probably won't be able to uh, get that into the announcements. So just a heads up, it'll just be a cool uh, animal to look at in that situation. All right, let's do our mission statement. The mission of the Kendall Center School District to provide the knowledge, skills, values, and attitudes needed by students to live responsibly and compete successfully in today's and tomorrow's world. I hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday. And if I don't get a chance to see it, remember to stay colorful, Kendall.